Good morning, everyone. I'm Kathy Fletcher, CEO of Voices for Children of San Antonio, and we are so delighted you are all here. This is our first time doing this, so please be tolerant of me, um, but we are very, very fortunate in all the partners we have here today. Uh, we have uh, about 760 or more people participating. Many are good friends and partners from uh, Bear County and the surrounding area, many from the rest of Texas. So we're so glad to have you from about eight different states, uh, including Illinois, Colorado, California, um, Tennessee, Memphis, where we used to live, so welcome. And we have several foreign countries also, and I'm in awe of how this works. Uh, we have people joining us from London, from Ireland, from the Philippines. Uh, so we're just so thrilled to have you at this very first live streamed event. Um, we, the topics we chose today have to do with the issues that are coming up or coming up more with the current uh, COVID-19 crisis for children particularly. And uh, we are extremely fortunate to have city and state leaders with us also today who are champions for children and families, for mental health, for our community. I'm going to introduce people briefly because I don't want to take away from their time. Uh, first, we have our relatively new, uh, last year, city councilwoman for District 4, which is the south side of San Antonio, uh, Dr. Adriana Rocha Garcia, following Councilwoman Garcia will be State Senator Jose Menendez. So, Councilwoman. Thank you, Kathy, and everyone. Good morning. I'm so excited to be here with you all this morning. I know it's virtually. I'm sure that if we were all gathered around at a, a conference-style room, we would probably all be hugging each other and, and saying hello, uh, but because of the times, this this will work, and I'm excited that we were still able to work with um, Kathy on this and, and be able to be here participating this morning. Don't want to take too much time. Just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, from the students that I represent here at the districts that I represent, as well as across the city of San Antonio and in our nation, for those of you that are watching from states uh, away and, and even from other countries. Thank you for what you do for children. Thank you for being the voice, the voices for children. I know right now uh, there is a lot of concern for the children that are in homes that might be experiencing not so pleasant uh, things. And so I've been very worried about that from the onset. And as you all um, think about them every single day, and I wanna thank you for doing the work that uh, you do on a daily basis. And I really don't have any much to say other than thank you uh, for being here. Thank you for waking up on a Saturday morning. I saw in the chat box earlier, someone said, well, at least I didn't have to put makeup on. Uh, so I thought that was cute, uh, but thank you for being here. Thank you for everything that you do. And if I could ever be of help, please reach out to me. Thank you, Kathy, for hosting this. And uh, thank you, Senator Menendez, for always being there for our children as a senator in Texas. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Shall I come back quickly? It's up Charlotte? to you. Okay. <laughs> I do want to introduce you, Senator. As I said, we're very fortunate to have them both. They are very concerned about children and families, and they're also very concerned about you. Uh, we know that many of you are still working, and we know that many of you are not. And uh, as Councilwoman Garcia said, children are sometimes home right now in in situations that are even more dangerous, and they're without the eyes and ears that you all always are. So uh, we're glad you're here and um, we're glad our leaders are too. Senator Jose Menendez has been for quite a few years a, a tremendous champion in Austin for children, families and on mental health issues. So, Senator. Thank you, Kathy. Good morning. Buenos dias a todos. Uh, my name is Jose Menendez and I'm the Senator for State Senator for District 26 in San Antonio and have the privilege of representing almost a million people. And first of all, I'd like to thank Kathy Fletcher. Uh, Kathy, you've been a champion and, and the voice for so many children who don't have a voice. I want to thank you for uh, your persistence and everything that you do and, and making sure that we're here being that village that we need to raise our children. And I want to thank all of the people on this because you are the incredible leaders that we need 
uh, to help us raise those children and take care of them. And with this massive disruption to our normal operations, quote unquote, and lifestyle, uh, you are the eyes and the ears on the front lines in order to battle and prevent child abuse now more than ever. And so I want to thank you for caring and protecting all of our children during these uncertain times. And I know that we have people here from around the world. I, I'm so impressed. I want to thank you all for joining me and for your steadfast commitment and calling for your participation and your professional development today. As some of you know, April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and it's important that we take the time to examine what's working and what still needs to be done. And when it comes time to preventing child abuse, there's no singular silver bullet or magic answer to what we can do. But instead of that, let's take a step back and let's look at the bigger picture and see what are we doing to support children and families from the very beginning. Uh, when people are getting pregnant, the people who didn't, they had an unplanned pregnancy possibly. What are we doing to break the cycle of generational poverty and domestic violence? Uh, how are we supporting not just the children, but the adults who've suffered through traumatic events? And so while there's much to do, I'm very proud of what's happening here in our community in Bear County. Things like the South Texas Trauma Informed Care Consortium, which has brought together community partners from across all sectors uh, to address the impacts of trauma and the Collaborative Commission on Domestic Violence, a group that is working to address partner abuse. And we know how often partner abuse sometimes, in many cases, is alongside child abuse. And it therefore creates a vicious cycle that goes on for decades. Along with my tri-chairs, Peggy Amy, the First Lady of UTSA, and Judge uh, Peter Sakai and Judge John Specia, uh, my office has carried on the work of the Blue Ribbon Task Force. And it's been a group that is working for over 15 years to increase awareness of child abuse and neglect. And we know that we have a, to move from a place where we focus our time and energy on the building a support system that prevent abuse rather than waiting for reporting or suspected abuse to act. We've got to get in that prevention mode rather than reactionary. Uh, my office and I stand ready to assist any of you in any way that we can, and we welcome your feedback and your suggestions. Please reach out to us at our office. Uh, we're still working, 210-733-6604, or you can email us at district26.menendez at senate.texas.gov. I hope that you're all staying secure and taking care of yourselves, because as you know, you can't be there for our vulnerable children if you're not yourself healthy. So please commit to self-care and to finding ways to re-energize yourselves. Your work is so important to all of our communities around the globe, and we need each and every one of you to be healthy and to be there for our families. Thank you, Kathy, once again for this opportunity, and to all the presenters today, thank you for your time today, uh, helping us understand what we can do to make this a better world for all our, our children. Thank you. Thank you so much, Senator, and thank you, Councilwoman. Um, Right now, there'll be a break, and there'll be a break in between each speaker while all of the high-tech stuff gets done for the next person. Um, so get your coffee, do whatever, and we will see you in about 15 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.